Hi everybody. In today's video we're going to look at an example of an express tool that allows us to do some pretty cool things when it comes to the AutoCAD set variables. That express tool, we'll type it in and then we'll look at it in the menu in a minute, is the system variable DLG. So SYSVDLG. When we enter that, it brings up a cool dialog that goes through and we can scroll on the left side here, we can see all of the different AutoCAD set variables within our particular file. Now with that, I can select and not only will it tell me what the uh, current value is, what the initial value, what if I'd like to change it in some cases, it tells me where they're stored, the type or the uh, format of the particular variable, what's, uh, what's allowed, and then it even gives us a bit of a description to tell us you know, valid values and what they uh, will affect if those values are changed. So, very cool tool, allows us to, like I said, we can go through and, and verify any of the values within our file in one particular place. We can learn more about those values. The other thing that we can do is we can actually save all of the values within a particular file. So by clicking on Save All, I get a couple different options for the format that they would be saved. One is a system variable file that can be consumed directly within this tool, and then the other one's a script file. And the cool thing about that, we'll go ahead and just make one here very quickly. We'll go into the desktop and I'll put that in my folder here and we'll just call this uh, sample. And if I save it, we'll go ahead and click on OK. When we go ahead and open that up off my desktop, we'll take a quick look at it. And what we'll see is it's automatically created for us a, a script file. A script file is a language within AutoCAD that we can effectively use that to automate the process of entering commands for us. So you'll see it, it automatically goes through for all the set variables. It puts in the code, if you, would, uh, if you will, as far as what would need to be set to reset that variable to whatever was captured when you did it. So it also takes those ones that are read-only and it comments them out because obviously if they're read-only we wouldn't be able to change them anyway. So once again, if a uh, great, great way to take and export those. So if we have a, a file that we'd like to capture our master settings or maybe move those settings from uh, one, uh, one instance, one file, uh, one drawing, maybe to another machine or another drawing, I could export it as a script, drag and drop it into another file, and then I'm ready to go. Now another place that it can be used is when we're working with set variables, and here's where we'll find the command in the Express Tools under the uh, Express Tool ribbon. When we select this, sometimes when we work in a file, sometimes it just starts maybe doing some things that don't seem quite correct. In other words, we've uh, made some, you know, uh, we're working we're using some commands in the, our drawing or our model and things aren't working the way that it should be and we start to wonder maybe somehow a set variable got tweaked and there's something incorrect in the file. Uh, well, identifying which one it could be could be a little challenging if we're not very well versed in, you know, the number of set variables that exist and uh, what they may adjust if they're changed. So what we can do is this. I could go into a good file. Let's say this is my my drawing or my model in a known good state. Let's go ahead and save that. We'll save that this time just as an SVF file because no reason to save uh, the extra information to uh, have it brought back in. I just want to review the file. So we'll go to my desktop here. We'll come down to my folder and we'll call this uh, master. We'll say save. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to tweak a, a set variable that could cause some problems. That set variable is snap ang, which means snap angle. So we'll type in snap ang. When I hit enter, the uh, value right now is zero. I'm going to set it to 90, which is 90 degrees. And when I hit enter, it doesn't look as though it's changed anything. There we go. It doesn't look as though it's uh, it's changed anything. Let me confirm that that actually went. Yep, snap angle is now set to 90. It doesn't look like anything's different than what it was before, but the rotation of my crosshair is now 90 degrees uh, turned in a, uh, in a counterclockwise direction. Now what will that do for me? That means some commands like array and other things like that aren't necessarily going to function the way that I would expect. It also, from my crosshair perspective, uh, zero it may identify as being up now that my crosshair is turned. Once again, would I ever set it that way? Probably not, but there may be something that goes on. Maybe you've even got a coworker that wants to uh, test your, uh, your AutoCAD metal 
by uh, tweaking some of the variables and see if you can figure out what the problem might be. Well, in this case, this would be one that would be definitely difficult to find. And once again, it would only show up on occasion in some of the commands wouldn't function properly. So what we'll do is this. This would be our problematic drawing now. Let's go ahead and export those. And we'll put it in the same folder here. And ideally, we'll say this is my problem. Now ideally, like I said, I, I could come down and find that variable. We'll say if I knew exactly what it was and I could check and start confirming different, uh, different variables. Now when I look at it, you see it's 1.5708 as opposed to 90. That's because it's an angular value and AutoCAD will store that as a radian, which maybe even make it more difficult to find if I was trying to find it on my own. All right, the idea is wouldn't it be great if I could compare all of the set variables in one drawing, my master maybe to all the set variables in my problematic one so I could find out quickly which variables are different and then maybe come back and use this tool to see what actually those variables uh, control and if there should be a difference between them. So let's, let's do this. Uh, I won't be able to do it through AutoCAD. This is a very cool tool within Word that we can exploit. So if I come into Word, We'll open up a blank document here. We'll go into review and there's an option here for compare. And we will compare two documents and the documents that we will compare are the two SVF files that we sent out. So we'll go to the desktop here. We will compare master and I will compare that against problem. A lot of different things that we can tweak with respect to what it looks for. For right now, we'll accept the defaults because I think we'll be fine. I'll go ahead and click OK. It immediately compares both of those files, every single set variable. And as I look, I can see only one thing has been changed. I see in this area this variable has been deleted and replaced with something else. So if I click, I see that uh, it automatically finds in my comparison document that that value has changed. I can see in the master and the the problematic file then immediately which set variable is is not set to what it should be all right so using the system variable dialog express tool uh, sysv dialog or dlg we can use that to uh, get a, a listing of the set variables that exist we can go into that list and we can get some information about what the particular values are that are uh, allowed for that particular set variable we can also learn a little bit about what that set variable does. And then by exporting the values, we can do things like create scripts to automate the setting of those variables in another file, or even use the compare function within Word to compare one list of set variables against another. So we can use that to determine maybe if one drawing isn't behaving correctly, what might be different about that drawing than another. So with that, I hope uh, this is helpful, and I hope the... Uh, Express Tool will help you identify maybe some issues and, and resolve them quickly if, uh, if you start to encounter them. Hope this helps, and I'll see you again real soon. See ya.